Hello everyone, this is Wobby Gannon Who here. Welcome to another addendum video for the newest skin I'll be covering for right now. Yet, yeah, it's the highly anticipated SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Now, who thought well this was gonna happen? A remake of a SpongeBob game or thing? <laughs> wow, so yeah. Uh, the toy is in, it doesn't. Had the eye of ready kids there. Maybe I skipped or something, I don't know. Ooh, it's, it has subtitles now, that's neat. So, all this identity is going to be is just noting what differences there are between the original and, of course, the remake. I am playing this on the Nintendo Switch. It's also available for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and the PC. So, yeah. Sexy here. The controls are definitely this different. This is where I keep all my old comic books. Yes. This which was definitely a tad heavier than usual, I'm not gonna lie. Now it's not something you can really get used to either. Another fine for Patrick. The socks are now in bubbles for some reason. Maybe a little bounce on the old bed. And there's a bunch of new photo frames here, made from later Sponge episodes. Yeah, I haven't seen features quicker and snappier than usual. This is going faster in action. Definitely not Sponge. faster than the original. Yeah, that's a different thing on Nation, and I think I decided I had fun doing shush tickets in the first area of Bikini Bar now. Which is interesting. That was in there for. I know you can't attack the fun tickets and go for an explosion. Did you hear that? If you attack the fun tickets, you'll instantly get damage. Now, as you hold the hey, LR button, you can actually sneak on by pressing the button. It's cool, that's, so that's nice. Also, the record player is unfortunately Boy, gone in Patrick's job. Fox and all that silly conservative. And here, the slide figures are quite different as well. Now it's a lot more tighter than usual. Now, I do recommend you want to be able to turn any quicker. Hey, you. Needs turn, to do and turn the camera the same thing as you're turning SpongeBob. That, that was a help ton of fun. I should do it again well. sometime. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. And Hanky the cutscene that Lucy plays here is now a place with a bunch of text boxes. So this this Hanky goes by pretty quickly. So that's a nice and welcome change. And also this one kind here, it's now cut back down to 150 for some reason. That's like the only clan in Thai we made that's been cut down, so a bit odd. Also, wall jumps are a lot more quicker and s snappier too. So yeah. Also, also here's a bad change. Whenever you die, you had to wait for the game to load every time you die. It wasn't like that in original. In original, it was instant. But now you gotta wait every time you die, and that bloody sucks. There we go. Sheesh. Okay. Hey, Sandy. With Sandy, you can actually lasso in mid air. And just lassoing in general is much faster as well. So, yeah, Sandy's look like Sandy's a little well, more broken than she used to be, but yeah. Also, in this crowded or in this Mr. Crash Green spatula, like these stupid character ones that have shields around them, so you can. Taking all that work for his ball, unfortunately. You jerks. And with this, they heavily improved the SpongeBob physics, so now you can actually sort of control the SpongeBob much better. Which is a, another handful change. And yeah, and this is where Gwai for Sonic are just to get the Mr. Crash Bachelors in the remake. Because probably the biggest. Biggest mistake that Pokemon Studios did for the remake here is that so in so for some stupid reason they decided to make this Crash Bastion's more expensive. So why why would you do that? So, so now if you want to yeah 2400 shiny objects I believe which only went up to like 8500. The movie ticket, my good man. So yes, you, sir. So now you got going for a lot more shy. I just want to take care of Mr. Crash Bachelor, so that's a stupid change. And yeah, for and for concert art, we do definitely get different concert art. Well, 
are, but honestly, you can't even call this console. It's just a bunch of screenshots from the game. So, yeah, so even we see the, the theater here is worse now, unfortunately. Just a bunch of screenshots. So now there's 40,000 giant houses, it's not worth it. So don't bother unlocking the museum in the Wii Mug, unfortunately. Not even any console after the Wii Mug, so that sucks. And now, what's going to be the main, main, please be the main part of this addendum video here is, of course, the multiplayer mode side to add here. Of course, it offers more look and more play. You can play it online, and of course, you can play it with other people, other switches too, or whatever. So let's jump straight in, and now only do we get to play as SpongeBob, Patrick, and Shans the Sandy. We also get to play as Gary, Squeakwood, Mr. Krabs, and Robo Plankton. Okay, why Robo Plankton? Okay, could he spin a skin, whatever. Uh, I'm just gonna pick a sponge bar for right now. I know our partner here has joined, Wine Star. So I'm gonna pick a sponge bar where he's gonna be Gary, so at least get to see a new card. <laughs> what a weird card to play as Gary, I mean. I mean, of course, Spongebob Pack of Sandy has always been playable. And Squid with Mr. Krabs is and playing the always been playable in like voice play games like Lights Come Up Pants and I believe also play when the GBA version of Lancer Script Pantis. <laughs> and I thought you could play as Gary here. Oh yeah, so this is basically a horde mode really, scattered across a whole bunch of islands here. Including unused assets like Patrick's ice cream island and <laughs> Muscle Bar Puff Pants. Because, you know, that was unused constantly, which is all in the side of we do survive flopping it here. Okay. And, of course, the main thing is there's this giant. There's Wobot Squid over there, which was in the original concert art as well. Now, unfortunately, you never get to fight Wobot Squid at all. He's. All he is is basically a glorified spawner for these robots that are constantly defeat. Yeah. Oh, he's actually wearing a... A... Crossy Crab uniform now? I didn't realize, realize that, honestly. Yeah. So I can see here, Gary does attack with a flying pan for some reason. At least Squiggle attacks with a ranged attack like notes. Uh, now in this mode, SpongeBob cannot use the bubble ball or the cruise bubble, which I can't say the cruise bubble. Why not the bubble ball? That sounds stupid. Uh, for Mr. Krabs, I assume he can use his claw to attack. I assume, and World Plankton, I bet he must have some laser attacks. I don't know. So I'm gonna be honest, this voice play Horner is honestly incredibly disappointing. This looks like they pretty much washed this out or something. And yeah, and Hankley, if you if you die, you don't worry, you just you can respawn anyway. There's no license for play mode. Doesn't matter how many times you and your friends die. It only ends once you reach the end of this horde mode or you or your friend decides to disconnect. Which I need to got got to the end of this mode here, but unfortunately I pay wine so I pretty much had enough and decided to disconnect. I mean I was I'm playing this near midnight, so I guess fair enough. And yeah, what's the pre lane? Why don't you just gave us an exclusive Wilbur Squig with boss fight, honestly, instead? They signed for him in the game. Oh well. I guess another thing I add here is that they actually added the artwork from Light Scout Pants into the Rock Bar Museum, which is pretty cool. And yes, Hampton Squig was in this game as well. But yeah, oh, this wing is pretty much a pretty damn faithful one to one remake of the game. Of course, you always flaws and tax, so. So, yeah, so that kelp slide is still a nightmare, honestly. 
And going for Mr. Crash and Spatulas is now much more time consuming for some reason, but yeah. Otherwise, it's basically the same exact game with like one or two changes, so. Yeah. You, did you somehow never decide to play ba. Someone never played Barbecue Bomb for? Well, now, Hanky, you don't have to. Basically, get a PS3 that plays PS2 games or an Xbox 360 or. A, or wish the Wii anymore, no. You can now get this Wii Hydro Hy 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 remake for your Switch, PS4, Xbox One, and Game Gear on PC. And you know what that means? Mods, because. I don't see amazing mods for Battle Pokemon when we hide I'm so away near that Yoshi and Doodle Ball Calton mod already. <laughs> I can't really see the awesome mods get to be in play in this game. So, yeah, this is a pretty good remake on the city. Not gonna lie. It's crazy. I mean. I think you'll. Because it. Your opinions may differ also, but I think it's like. It's kind of on the same, in terms of Wii makes it's on the same line as the Insane Trilogy and the Wii Ignite Trilogy, honestly. I don't to be fair, I still haven't played those games yet, but I think it's a safe assumption. Feel free to disagree you want So yeah. Now this is what you play most, they've been disappointing. Oh wow, they just named the exclusive Mobile Street of Boss Fight instead. I mean, once you reach at the end of this voice player hall mode, it actually goes for pretty long. You don't actually get to fight with spirit at all, it just disappears and that's it. Pretty lame, I'm gonna lie. The voice said, no. The, si the sign objects you get for this mode do not carry to the single player, unfortunately. But yeah, that's what I gotta say. I'll let the West this footage play out for you. And I'll see you later for what I will do next. So it's what we're gonna do. I'll see you next time. See you later, people.